Good morning or evening. This is Caffeine Jedi, and um, I guess I gotta jump on the bandwagon with this one, but whatever, because everybody's saying it. You know, because it, it's a subject that actually uh, makes me kind of pissed. Uh, copyright law. For those of you who don't know, uh, I studied journalism when I was in university, so I know a bit about copyright, copyright laws, things that are trademarked. I dabbled in it. By far, I am not an expert in the subject. I may have taken maybe one or two university level classes that were a little more in depth on the subject of copyright. Now, my personal opinion on copyright is that it is such a bullshit law. Like, the way it's written is so ridiculously overly strict for what it is it's protecting that, um, shit that. I'm not even going to edit this shit, just so you know. This is going to be just a rant. Rant video. Warning. 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 Oh my god, why don't you, like, edit? I don't fucking feel like editing right now. Alright. Ah, uh, so. I'm going to just say some things. I was once watching The Daily Show. This was a couple of years ago. Um, and there was a guy, and he was talking about copyright law. And he mentioned something, and it was uh, probably one of the truest things I've ever heard. You know, t when talking about copyright law. If you cured cancer, if you come up with the cure for cancer, your patent on that cure for cancer is 10 years, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it's 10 years. 10 years, you have the patent on that. After that, everybody gets to find out what the hell you were doing, what it was, yada, yada, yada. That's why you get generic versions of pills that already exist. The patent ends. If you make a shitty pop song, that shit, copyright on that is your entire life and I think plus a hundred years. Also, don't quote me on that. So, that just shows you what you're dealing with. How, how, how skewered this shit's become. Now, um, I'm of the age where, like, piracy came to be, um... And, you know, I always hear, I'm going to touch upon the music industry, uh, movie industry, books, slightly the publishing industry, and I guess um, video games. Those are the four I'm going to explain to you a little bit why your sales might be plummeting for other reasons besides, we're stealing your shit! Though, you know, possibly someone's stealing your shit, but see, there's no concrete numbers to tell you how that's affecting your sales because... Um, a person who is not me, of course, may have downloaded quite a number of songs. Of, of course, this is not me, obviously. I would, I would never do anything illegal, like pirating. Um, and uh, I would have never, I mean, not I. Whew. This person would have never bought those shitty albums, you know, because, like, for, for, like, the one song I wanted to listen to. Not that it was me. But if it was me, this is a hypothetical situation. So I would never do that. So, uh, uh, let's talk a little bit, a little bit what happened. So music, your, your CD sales like fucking plummeted. Uh, if you don't remember back in the day, they used to have these uh, CDs that would actually break your fucking computer if you put them in because they were copyright protected. They would essentially like fry your hard drive. And um, Metallica was being a bitch because they were like, hey, Napster, you're stealing our crap. Not that any of your music was worth fucking stealing after the fucking 1990s. Saint Anger sucked, buddies. Shit. But, um, let's talk about probably the main reason. A CD don't fit in a phone. So, if you copyright protect your music, and it's on a CD, and you cannot take the CD files and put it on here... I don't want to carry your fucking CD with me. It essentially comes in, I don't want to carry shit with me. I think a lot of copyright materials that assume it's piracy. It's not. I think technology is just what is, like, killing you guys. So, um, what probably happens? So CD don't fit in a phone, then iTunes comes out. iTunes. And the floodgates open, and now I can not only, like, find your shitty, you know, super pop music... But all these independent artists can put up their whole albums for like five to ten bucks. I can buy a whole album. A very well done, nicely recorded, you know, technology is good now. So people could just fucking record shit in their own bedrooms. 
And, you know, shit sounds good. I'm getting just as good a quality product for, like, half the price. And along with that stuff, um, you know, not to say that I don't enjoy a pop song here and there, and but, damn, you got your competition just went up, like, boom. Then, uh, what else am I going to say? I have to mention that, um, <sighs> shit, how can I say this? Okay, so, um, oh yeah, I was going to give you an idea of how you could actually make some money. Alright, so, um, people like to make films. They like to make independent films now. I mean, we're in the YouTube age, me included. I make shitty vlogs with my Nikon cool pics. But sometimes I would love to put music in the background. And when I'm on my little purchasing of music, I sometimes think to myself, like, I'll look up an artist and be like, I wonder if they'll let me use their music in my video. And chances are, if they're a smaller artist, I have to either pay very little, or practically nothing, or nothing, if I ask them in an email, hey, can I use your music in one of my videos? Now, if you try to fucking do that with, like, Kesha, or Lady Gaga, or any of those fucking songs, do you know the fucking nightmarish paperwork you might even... You have to do just to get started on that, how much it would cost just to borrow the supposed music. I mean, if you made that shit a little more available, let's say like three to five dollars to license a song for like, you know, an independent movie or a video, that's the fucking income you guys are missing right there. Figure that shit out. So, ba -ba 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 -ba, movies. All right. Movies. I go to the movies, I think, less than I used to, but not because I'm pirating movies, because I actually like going to the movies. The reason I go to the movies, and I think most people go to the movies, is they actually like going to the movies, to sit down in the movie theater, eat popcorn and all that shit. Um, now, I guess uh, six to ten years ago, I don't know, back when I was a teenager, a uh, movie cost like, I think like seven dollars, and ten years later now is like twelve dollars, if you don't include that gimmicky fucking 3D shit. Um, and the thing is, when I was a teenager, Teenagers go to the movies a lot. I used to go to the movies like three or four times a week sometimes, depending how many movies. I watched a lot of shitty movies, too. But, I, you know, that's what kids do. In fact, you have to realize that most of the people going to the movies are usually people under 23, I would say. I'd say at least more than half. Even when I go to the movies, I start to feel a little old. I remember I went to see Harry Potter, I think it was one of the oldest people there. And, um, so, you have a lot, you know, you have a, a group of people who go to the movies... Your consumers are uh, teenagers, and in this economy, nobody's got the moolah just to, like, shell out fucking $12 each for a movie the movie the ticket. You know, people are going to be a little more skeptical. That, and then you make these crazy big budget movies. Like, why do movie, why is the movie industry losing so much money? You make these crazy fucking record-breaking, expensive-ass movies, and they suck. And they're terrible. Now, once in a while, you sadly, not sadly, but I guess to some, happily sadly, you get a Transformers, which is, like, gonna make tons of money, even though, like, you know, the budget's high and the movie's crap. But, you know, you don't always get that with your fucking gimmicky ass over-the-top blockbusters. In fact, a lot of them are garbage. Shit-tacular shit. And even, the thing is, the second thing that happens is, if it's half decent, it's still not $12 good. And I got me some Netflix. Well, not here, but I used to have me some Netflix. I guess it's coming in the UK now. And why should I pay $12 for, like, a movie unless I'm dying to see it? Like, can I wait, like, a couple months and that shit will be on Netflix? Hell yeah, I can. If it's all right, do that shit. I gotta pay for that shit. $12 fucking dollars. So, um... Let's see what else I can talk about. Oh yeah, and for the record, I do still buy DVDs if it's a movie that I really love. Even if I have Netflix. I still, like, do that. Alright, number three. The next thing I'm going to mention is TV shows. I guess this goes under movies, but it's about very similar. So, uh, when uh, YouTube first came out, um... The first thing that, like, everybody remembers is, like, there was tons of episodes of TV shows you hadn't seen in, like, 20 freaking years. All this shit was just suddenly popping up. Like, one of them, 
I remember watching it. Then I rewatched literally every episode. I know it's kind of cheesy. Was uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers and Tailspin. Ah, I love that show when I was a kid. I hadn't watched that shit since that. I think it was on like Toon Disney like once in a while. And it still hadn't been on the air in like five years. So maybe even ten years. I don't know. But I saw all the episodes. I was like, oh my god, I love this shit. Oh, I'm going to watch them all. And... I don't know if it was that, but there was a couple shows like that. I think Ocean Girl, some other ma very like random shit that I hadn't seen in a long time. And before your asses went all crazy taking that shit off, you know, I suddenly like remembered why I like these shows. And, and it seems like the industry completely forgot about these shows. These shows were like locked in a vault, like in fucking storage somewhere. Nobody cared about this shit. All of a sudden, people start watching this shit on YouTube, become nostalgic, and they want to buy some DVDs. I mean, Disney at least was smart enough to release all this shit, made themselves some money off of it, but you could thank fucking YouTube for reminding people about all this shit before. You see all these old, like, TV shows that they're now selling. Guess what, buddy? The reason people remember that shit is because originally that shit was all over YouTube. Crank the memory there. So stop blaming that for your fucking, like, copyright infringement, I'm losing so much money. Because if you fucking sold some goddamn DVDs or some iTunes of these fucking episodes, you could make some money back. All right? Just saying. <coughs> ah, the other thing with TV shows, so why you're not making the money you used to make. Like, okay, not talking about my parents, but in my age, when I used to have, like, be a high school student, my TV had, like, maybe, like, 65 channels, okay? TV now, my TV downstairs, which not my TV, it's my boyfriend's TV. Assuming we get it to work, because the satellite's been a little iffy lately. I think I get, like, more than 300 channels. Maybe even 400 channels. The point is, I have to, to swap, swap my way. Swap? Is that even a word? Slosh? Whatever. I have to go through all of those fucking channels to figure out a show to watch. And guess what? Where you used to have the fucking, like, lockdown on a couple of good shows, there's fucking shows on every channel now that you have to compete against. More competition, less fucking money. That's just the way it is. Sorry. You know, a show that might be, a, like, record-breaking awesome, everybody's tuning in now, you know, might not attract as easily because you don't have the lockdown on, like, a, a certain amount of viewers. People have way more variety to choose from. So, just letting you know. Da, 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 da. I'm looking still in my list. Found it. All right, number four, <clears throat> video games. Uh, so I once watched, uh, saw, watched, what a read. There was a Penny Arcade comic, and he this thing summed it up perfectly. I forgot which character was saying what, but um, they were having the argument about um, paying sixty dollars for one game, and you know sometimes those games are fucking awesome, and I have paid sixty dollars for one game. Or more games than just one. If it's good, if it's fucking awesome, I'll do it. But you gotta realize, games now cost a dollar. 60 games for $60. Or one game for $60. Math might be, uh... That might be going against you there, video game industry. You gotta learn to do whatever the hell you're doing for cheap now. Because uh, you could buy, like, GTA 3 now, I think, on, like... <clears throat> the Android for like, I don't know, like six bucks. This shit used to cost fifty dollars back in the day. <clears throat> and that's just it. Phones now? Phone, this is what's, you know, doing in a lot of your stuff. So, um, just letting you know. Stop blaming piracy. What else can I say? This is not coming out as good as I'd like, but whatever. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba 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 ah, the next one. Books. Books is a small one. Basically, the Kindle came out, okay? Kindle came out, it's a similar situation to iTunes. Kindle came out, everybody could just like self publish their own shit now. For like a dollar. You know, I'm even gonna do this shit, you know, probably next year maybe. Just self publish that shit. Put that shit online, you don't have to, you know. Worry about going through all these fucking channels, having half your, you know, or 90% of your, your profits taken by a publisher. I don't know how it fucking works now. Whatever. The point is, Kindle did you guys in, alright? Nobody stole your books. I mean, some people might have, but not that much. Not that much that, you, that you're doing as bad as you think you are. Instead, people have now, like, a, ra a ride, a wide variety of options when it comes to books that they could buy. Sometimes for really fucking cheap, too. Alright, so this brings me now, now 
to something that happened recently. And it'll tie into all this copyright crap and piracy, blah, blah, blah. And why piracy may not be killing you. Kodak Films has filed for bankruptcy. Kodak Films filed for bankruptcy, and it wasn't due to piracy. Why do you think this happened? Well, they were slow to develop into the digital cameras. Slow to develop. That's horrible English. God, my sentences are all fucked. Because I live with a bunch of Germans. Okay, so they were slow to develop the digital camera, or their version of the digital camera. And their competitors basically, like, fucking zoomed right past them. They couldn't sell film anymore because everything's digital now. People show everything on their fucking phones. And even now, digital cameras are probably going to be the next thing to go. Because as phones get more and more advanced, their cameras get better and better. And I don't need to buy myself another Nikon Coolpix. Maybe. I don't really like mine, so. You know, your, cam your fucking phone's just as good now. Not maybe as good, but it's getting there. So, um, just so you know, uh, I think that, you know, instead of trying to go on to, like, you know, this very vain effort to try and just fucking destroy piracy, as you say, which you're essentially just trying to, you know, get rid of competition, because, you know, you used to have this hugely profitable business model, and you didn't have, you basically had that shit on lockdown, you didn't have any competition, you had the monopoly on fucking entertainment, and... You know, it scares you. You you can't fucking keep doing that because now there's so much more out there. It's so much more easily accessible. And unless you fucking change the way you do your business, you're going to go the way of Kodak Films. Maybe not as much the film industry because people don't have the same budgets to do what they did. But now even people make their own fucking video games, all right? They may not be up to par with everything out there, but they're still fucking fun ones. All right, that'll be all for now. Excuse me for my, like, slurring voice. It's not like I've been drinking or anything. I just, I don't know. My tongue is not cooperating. All right, that'll be all for now. I'll make another video next week or in a couple days. Bye.